Hi guys, so it's been a little while since I posted a video the way the tech industry is right now. For a small channel like mine, there really isn't much point in posting a video talking about this sort of stuff because nobody's going to watch it. So I've been working on some other forms of content that will probably be next month until I actually get round to finishing those and posting them. And in the meantime, I just wanted to get something out because I kind of found it interesting. And that is that Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, which is the first ray tracing only game, or at least AAA game, not counting Quake 2 RTX, of course, has some very interesting system requirements, most notably that it requires an 8 core CPU or an 8 core CPU to achieve 60 FPS at anything above 1080p or including 1080p. And, well, that simply isn't true. So if you haven't played Metro Exodus, uh, but it's the sort of game that interests you, I highly recommend that you do. It is very, very good. And if you do have a ray tracing capable card, this new edition of the game will just have slightly nicer graphics. It's a fairly good example of the fact that ray tracing is nicer in terms of image quality, but is not really revolutionary. Anyway, on the left hand side, you should be seeing the standard edition and on the right hand side of the screen will be the enhanced edition so you can get a bit of an idea of the, the visual difference. The, the two runs aren't exactly identical, this isn't what I would call a full benchmark but it they're close enough so you should be able to get a bit of an idea. And as you can see I'm running a 4 core CPU, technically a 4 core hyper threaded CPU, it's a 6700K overclocked to 4.6 gigahertz. Broadly speaking it's comparable to uh, a current i5 or Ryzen 5 in terms of gaming performance, close enough anyway. And therefore it does not an 8 core CPU. So the game is running at 1440p. It is on the extreme quality setting. On the standard edition it has ray tracing on. And for the extreme edition it has ultra ray tracing with four times variable rate shading. So kind of maxed out for 1440p in both situations and no DLSS on either for this first one. And as you can see, it is running sort of acceptably on both. Um, certainly better than the minimum specifications would seem to indicate. And then because I'm genuinely not expecting many people to even watch this video because of small channel and this is technically a tech type talk talking about graphics, probably no one's actually going to watch this. So I'm going to kind of half ask this and just leave you to watch the second part of the video, which is more or less the same run, or at least as close as I can make it, but with DLSS on. For the standard edition, DLSS is on because it was an early implementation of DLSS. And for the enhanced edition in the new new version of DLSS, it is on quality. There are also performance and ultra performance modes, but I can't see a difference with the quality mode in terms of the visual difference, uh, except for the fact that it just performs better. So that's basically the one that you'd go with, and it's a no-brainer. Anyway, if you have watched this video, I'm slightly surprised, but thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. They killed my friend and my daddy. Satan spawns. You bring the Lord Mark right upon us. Right right right. We have to suffer their breath. Banish her. That would teach them. Yes, they are not worthy of the protection of the Zion. Exile them. Make them repent. Patience, brothers and sisters. Patience and tolerance. For ye must accept thy neighbors like the Lord accepts thee, to truly turn their hearts from sin towards the heavenly bliss of true faith. So let us forgive the child, for she knows not the folly of her words. Let us forgive, brothers. Let us pray for the souls of the sinners, and let us forgive the child as the Lord forgives us. Amen.
that bell tower waving a rag or something. Please investigate. I see people at the church. None seem to be armed. We'd better try the open approach. Let's not fire first, okay? Peace be upon ye, traveler. Patience, brothers and sisters. Patience and tolerance. For ye must accept thy neighbors like the Lord accepts thee. To truly turn their hearts from sin towards the heavenly bliss of true faith. So let us forgive the child. For she knows not the folly of her words. Let us forgive, brothers. Let us pray for the souls of the sinners. And let us forgive the child as the Lord forgives us. 